Have you loaded up Design Space recently and all of your buttons have disappeared from the layers panel? Don't worry, I've got you covered and I'll show you where they've gone. Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest changes to Cricut Design Space as of around the middle of September 2025. A couple of weeks ago, I brought out a video on all of the changes at the end of August, and that's already out of date because there have been even more releases. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. As of the date I'm recording this video, which is the 17th of September 2025, the changes I'm about to show you so far are only available in the beta version of Design Space. The exact version I'm using is version 9.34.92 and I'm in the beta version as you can see here. If you're in the live version or if you've got a different version number here you probably won't see what I'm about to show you yet. Even if you are on the exact same one as me 9.34.92 and beta you still might not see these changes. Sometimes the updates can not show even if you're running the version number where they should show but if that is happening to you and you can't see the changes just bear with it, keep with it, it will get there. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to catch up. Okay so Straight up, if you're used to design space, you'll be able to notice the difference. We are missing our buttons at the top of the layers panel to allow us to ungroup, duplicate and delete. And all the buttons at the bottom of the layers panel are gone too. That's our slice, combine, attach, flatten and contour. So where have they gone? Well, let's click on this design here. And then you can see they all appear contextually at the bottom of the layer that's been selected. Even though I've got this selected now, there's still nothing at the top or the bottom of the layers panel. It looks like those are gone completely. Some of the buttons are now appearing underneath. Now I've clicked this. We've got the delete, we've got duplicate, attach, flatten and ungroup. Now it's a little bit confusing because the buttons that are showing here is kind of a combination of some that were at the top of the layers panel before and some at the bottom. Attach and flatten would have been at the bottom and the others at the top and the order of them has changed. So you'll be used to seeing the ungroup button first and the delete at the end and now they're the other way around. I keep clicking this delete button <laughs> in this version instead of ungrouping. So it's going to take a little bit of a getting used to. But we're still missing the slice, the combine and the contour. To get to those, you need to click on the pencil icon on the top left of the screen to open the more tools menu. So I've clicked that and it slid open this bar on the left hand side. And within here are those other options I just mentioned. We're still missing some though. Slice is not there and contour is not there. That's because with this version, you now only see the options that are available to you based on what you've selected. I've selected a group, which you can see it's all grouped here. If I open it up, it's made up of lots of different layers. Because I've selected a group, that means I can't slice. Even if the slice button was there, I couldn't use it because you can only use slice if you have exactly two layers selected and I've got much more than two. Likewise with contour, you can only contour when you have one layer selected. And again, I've got lots. So let's see what happens if we ungroup the layers. I'll click away and then just click on one of these layers. Now I've only got one selected. Now I'm seeing different options along the bottom here. I can no longer group this. I've only got one thing selected, so there's no point in grouping just one thing. And I can't attach it to anything else because again, only one layer selected. What's interesting is that I can't flatten it, which would be to turn it into a print then cut image. I would have thought that should still appear. However, I suppose I could do it by going into the drop down here and changing it to print then cut. That effectively is kind of doing the same thing. Let's put that back and then select it again. And then under my more tools bar, I've only got the contour button available. I don't have any of the combining or the slicing because again, I've only got one layer selected. If I select another layer by pressing shift on my keyboard and choosing another one over here, now more buttons have appeared. 
Now I can do all the options along the bottom. My attach and my flatten have come back and also my group button over here. And then on the left in the menu, I've got everything available to me now. Again, apart from contour, because I've now got two layers selected, you can only contour when you have one selected. So then I could choose any of these to perform the action. Flatten is appearing here and here. Again, a little bit odd because everything else is only there once. Maybe they're testing it to see which one kind of makes more sense to users. Let's see how it works if you've got multiple things on the screen. So I've now inserted all of these butterflies. When I click them, the buttons here contextually appear below each thing that's being selected. You can see the type of buttons I'm getting are changing based on whether I'm selecting one single layer or a group. And then if I go into edit, again, as I select the different ones, different buttons will appear. One thing that does still appear to be missing, which is a little bit sad they haven't brought it back, is the select all option. That's been removed. If you want to select everything and you're on a Windows computer, press Ctrl and A on your keyboard. If you're on a Mac, it's Command and A. Now what I've done here is I've hidden a little purple butterfly off the bottom of my screen to show you what happens if you select things that are going out that would require you to scroll down. So if I press Ctrl and A to select everything, now my buttons are appearing at the bottom of the screen and as I scroll, it disappears. But then when I stop scrolling, it comes back again right at the bottom. If I was to select maybe these groups, then it doesn't appear right at the bottom of the screen. It appears at the bottom of where the two groups are selected. But if I had, let's say that one and that one, because I've got to scroll, it's right at the bottom, even if I'm at the bit nearer the top. It's a little hard to see when it's at the bottom. It's quite small and um, a little bit distracting maybe that it disappears and comes back again. But as with all of the recent changes, including all the ones I went through in my previous video with the August updates, I think it's something that we'll get used to over time. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are there things that you would change? I'd love to know what you think. If you're using any of these changes and you are having issues, maybe you found some bugs or something not quite working, or if you just want to give feedback to Cricut about the changes, what you can do is click on your name over on the top right and then click report issue. And you can then describe anything that you're having problems with, if there are any bugs, or even just things that you're finding difficult to use, or any features that are missing, for example, that select all feature. Give it a title, select category, describe it in as much detail as you can, and you can upload a picture or take a screenshot as well. A slight little note that I'm sure I probably don't have to say, but I'm going to say it anyway, is to remember that the person who's reading this report is probably not the person that's been responsible for these changes. So please be polite and respectful when you're writing your messages. I've submitted several of these over the last couple of weeks and every time I've submitted it, I have had a reply back from a customer service representative. So that has been really helpful to know that what I'm sending is being read and being understood. So if you are wanting to give feedback, this is a great way to do that to make sure it does get to Cricut. All right, so that's it. I've tried to keep things a bit quicker this time than that last updates video and just focus on where all the buttons in the layers panel have gone in Cricut Design Space. I hope that this video has been helpful to explain the latest changes in the beta version of Design Space and if and when it goes live, hopefully this will be helpful then too. I'll be keeping an eye on Design Space and if there are any more big things going on, I will let you know. So if you want to be among the first to see that video when it inevitably comes out because there's always stuff changing, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell to get notifications of whenever I post. If you've got any Design Space questions, leave me a comment under the video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!